Hey, what's up folks? It's Jang here from ultimaterc.com in the middle of painting a body and I wanted to give you a little tip. Now, generally you always want to paint dark colors first and then light colors last when you're painting a body. So in this case, I've got three. Black is always the darkest. You want to put that down first. You want to put your medium colors down next and your very lightest colors down uh, at the very end. The reason you want to do that is that if you put down a dark color and then you have another a lighter color that you put afterwards, any of that lighter color that comes up behind the black, you're just not going to see it. Black is just completely opaque and none of the light colors will actually show through on it. However, if you paint something in a metallic color or a, a medium uh, saturated color or a very light color and then you have a little bit of overspray or actually underspray that comes over that or you just end up backing it because you're doing an entire coat of a different color with a different uh, with a darker color you're actually going to see that color there darken up and you may actually have a bleed through or kind of a mix of the two colors come up. So you always want to go in that direction. However, in some cases, it's just not practical to do that. If you have just a small area where, let's say I had just masked off the headlights and I wanted my headlights uh, to, to come out as yellow or if I had some tail lights and I wanted to do those in red. Sometimes you just are not able to uh, easily mask things in an order that allows you to paint dark to light. Sometimes you end up, it's just so much more convenient to paint light first. So the tip is if you have a uh, light color and you want to paint a dark color after it, back it with silver that simple. Silver is the most opaque uh, paint that's available because it actually has uh, quite a lot of metallic flakes, actual metal flakes in there. That's what gives it its, its uh, reflectiveness and its silvery color. It's actually metal in there and it's so opaque that you paint that over a light color you can back it with any color whatsoever and it's just not going to come through because this is going to completely just mask off the entire back of that. In this case, I've got a body that is actually uh, pretty much done painting, but I want to back it with black and I don't want that black to darken up these nice fluorescent yellow stripes. So I'm going to back this with silver first and then come back with the black afterwards. There's the silver now. Now here it is backed with black and I actually went ahead and did my little window tinting also. But the key part to look at here is where I've pulled back the uh, overspray film and you can see that even though this is backed completely with black, it's completely opaque, still have a nice bright uh, vibrant neon yellow color, fluorescent yellow color here. Uh, the black has not darkened it down. So that's it. That's the tip. If you want to put a dark color behind a light color, uh, perhaps because uh, it's just a lot more convenient in terms of your masking order, or if you're just you know, doing a, a two-tone job and you mask the wrong side or something like that, just back it with silver and then that will be so opaque that you can put anything behind it. You can even have really bright colors backed with something very dark or you can have competing colors backing each other and it'll still come out all right. So I hope that's a useful tip for you when you're painting. I hope that you are subscribed. If you're not, please do on YouTube and I'll see you on the friendly forums at ultimaterc.com. Bye for now.